Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Reflection Ops TV, and today we are talking about why Recruit is the best defender in the whole entire game. Stay tuned to find out. One thing that really used to bother me about Rainbow Six Siege is when I'm on a team and there's a recruit on the team, I used to think he was absolutely just unhelpful to the team, uh, probably incompetent, anyone who was playing him doesn't really know what they're doing, and that was until I started using him. Now a friend of mine started doing some research on the recruit class and actually started experimenting putting different guns together and we found the perfect concoction, passed it over to me, and my entire life has been absolutely changed. Thanks to one class. Now keep in mind that I have not used the attacker recruit as much as the defender. All my information right now is solely based upon a defender recruit. This recruit class actually helps out your team just as much as it helps you. So don't go thinking this is a selfish way to play the game, because it is not. And that brings us to point number one of why recruit is the best defender. Now for this example, we're gonna look at the bandit. Now the bandit can only choose between barbed wire or a nitro cell, and that is it. Now looking back over at our recruit here, the recruit that we use can actually carry three barbed wire and a nitro cell. Being able to put a sea of barbed wire, stopping the enemy from making it easily accessible to access hallways, and being able to effectively take down shields is very beneficial to you and your whole team. On to the next point, this class is very, very effective at speed. It has about the same speed as a bandit, which is insanely, insanely fast, makes for very, very good roaming. Now the only downside to this class is that he only has one armor rating, which is pretty low, but at the same time, if you're going to have a higher armor rating, you're also going to be able to not move as fast. So you kind of want to find that happy medium. But you will be better off if you have a rook on your team. When we do this in a squad, sometimes we will have a rook on the team being uh, able to provide us with armor so that we will be a little better off in the match. Now on to my next end. Probably the best point of this class is the amazing MP7. I never ever used this gun until my friend recommended this whole class. I never thought it was amazing. I didn't have a point to use it. It was, it was always, everyone was always strapping ACOGs to SMGs and it was just something that I never wanted to do and I never ended up doing. So the best thing about the MP7 and which I never even knew until I used this class, the iron sights are amazing. As you can see, the iron sights you can still actually, you have a field of view that you can actually see someone with your peripheral instead of, the, you know, everything being clogged up by metal like the P90. It is amazing. The gun has extremely low recoil and decent range, making it super, super effective. This is definitely a class that I'm going to be using for quite some time, and I'm really excited to keep posting videos about it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and thank you so much for the recent amount of support lately. There's been a lot of support on the Rainbow Six Siege videos, the Arma videos, uh, pretty much everything I've been posting has just been getting great feedback, so thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it, and I will keep the videos a-coming. You guys have a wonderful day. This is Reflection Ops TV. Peace out. They tell me to move on, but don't serve you right. They tell me to work hard. I've been up for a few nights. I've been doing this for a new life. Get my eyes shut for a new sight. If they love putting you down, go ahead, say fuck that too, right? Uh, worried about what's ahead. Worried about never getting that bread. Worry is constantly stuck in my head. So worried it's harder to sleep in my bed. I've read all of the comments you said. Got me forgetting the things that I dread. Shining the hope that I'll finally make it. Taking and jumping my fault, you might break it. I faked it, pretending I'm somebody else. Trading my passion for somewhere the world.